All right, your choice is you want to come to standing or if you want to sit on a chair or your mat, it doesn't matter. We're not going to start our playlist yet. I will tell you when. Okay, I want you just to be wherever you're at. Close your eyes or bring a soft gaze down to the floor in front of you. I'm going to have you bring your hands to heart center. <clears throat> Notice if you can feel your heartbeat, where your thumbs are, near the center of your chest. And notice how your heart's beating in this moment. As you tune in to the heartbeat, notice if your breathing changes. For me, when I tune in to the beat of my heart, my breathing automatically slows down. I'm increasing my awareness to that area. If your breath isn't slowing down and your breaths aren't getting longer, then start to do that. Make your inhale and your exhale as long as you can, as deep as you can, and as equal as you can. Keeping your palms together. Remembering that there's so much energy that come out from your palms. Right now you're spreading your energy to yourself, but when we remove our palms and we face them forward, you're shining your energy out to everyone else. In this moment, we're all in this together. We're in this class together. We're in this life together. We're in this world together. And the best thing that we can do is support ourselves and everyone around us. Continue to press the palms together. Feel the fingertips connecting on the opposite side. Feel the energy now from your palms coming through your arms, out your elbows. And decide what kind of energy that is. Pick someone to send your energy to. Someone that you know needs it right now. I'm going to take three more long, deep breaths. Two more long, deep breaths. Let's sing our last one together. Take an inhale. And an exhale. And we'll slowly bring your hands down to your sides or to your thighs, wherever you are. Grab your essential oil if you have one. If not, you're just going to rub your palms together. If you have your oil, place a drop on your palms, rub them together. If you don't have an oil, just continue to rub your palms together. Feeling the heat, feeling that energy. Two more breaths, rubbing the palms together. Now slowly take your left hand to your heart and your right hand over the left. Feel the heat, feel the energy, feel the love. No matter where you are in this moment, there's so much love right here inside of you. It begins with you. What you do with your love, how you share your love is your choice. So one more breath. All right, releasing that, grabbing your playlist or any playlist you have at home. And you can start it now. I'm gonna play it <clears throat> lightly. If you can't hear me, we'll adjust. All right, come down to seated if you're not there. Actually coming into an easy pose. <clears throat> Ground your sit bones into the earth. Feel your spine lengthen. And crown the head reaches to the sky. Surrounded by all elements around us. 
where I'm teaching right now, I'm facing outside. I can feel the earth underneath me. I can see the sky above me. I can see water on my porch from the rain yesterday. I'm breathing in the air. There's so much around us that we don't even realize how essential and important it is in our lives. Make sure you take that time today to look. Look at one of the elements. See what it provides for you. And thank Mother Nature, Mother Earth, for providing that to you. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, lean to the right side. Inhale, come back up, reach towards the sky. And exhale, come into the left. Inhale, center. This time, exhale forward. Holding from the hips, walking the hands forward, reaching towards the front of the room, wherever you are. Walk your hands back in, switch directions of your legs. And then inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, lean to the right. Really re lean, reach the side body. Inhale, lift up, bring the Aggies up this time. Then exhale, come to the opposite side. And inhale, back up. Eye gaze follows, and we're going to exhale, folding up the hips, coming forward. Our playlist today just incorporates that we're together no matter where we are. It helps us remember that we might feel alone in these moments but we're not. We have people around us. Walk your hands in. No matter how far apart we are from here, we're just going to bend our knees and then press ourselves up to standing. Once you come to standing, I want you to bring your feet out into a second position. Placing your hands on your hips. Inhale, lengthen. Feel your spine pull in and your upper body reach towards the sky. Now exhale, fold forward with a flat back. Slide down to the knees. Drop your hands down. I'm going to keep facing you guys with my eye gaze, but I want you to bring your eye gaze back behind you. Really fold. Let the weight of the world, the weight of your upper body, just melt down into the earth. Keep your right hand under your chest. Take an inhale, lift the left arm up. Try to stack left shoulder above the right, bringing the eye gaze up towards the left thumb. Maybe take the hand, reach it to the opposite hip, allowing the top shoulder to open up even more and bring your eye gaze up even higher. Bring your left hand back to center. Inhale, find a flat back, lift halfway, slight bend of the knees. And then exhale, fold all the way down. Left hand stays down. Inhale, right arm comes up. Reach your right arm towards the sky. Maybe bring the right hand down to the left hip, opening the right shoulder, bringing the eye gaze up higher towards the sky. Bring the right hand down. I want you to walk your hands towards the right foot, shifting into a runner's lunge, coming up on the ball of the back foot, sliding the foot back as far as you can, bending the front knee over the front ankle. And we're going to walk the hands to the opposite, opposite side, stretching out on this side. Bending in to the front knee, sliding the back foot back. Coming back to center, keep your legs as wide as they are. Really fold down deep, stretching the inner thighs, really loosening and warming up the body today for our workouts. 
Come deeper for the last breath. Slowly heel toe your feet in. Coming a little bit wider than the hips. Toes stay out, heels stay in. I want you to drop your hips down to your heels. Coming into your yogi squat with your hands right back in heart center. Take that moment. See if you feel the heartbeat now. Bring your hands down in front of you. Slowly come up. Okay, just standing. You can keep your feet as they are. Inhale, reach the arms up. Circle them towards each other. And then exhale, opposite direction. Just sweeping on the inhales and sweeping down on the exhales. Two more times each direction. Last time, inhale, reach it up, exhale, bring it down in front of you. Bring your feet in to a parallel position. Now slowly lift the heels high, hold it. Okay, finding stability with the heels lifted, core is engaged. If you need to, I moved my bar, but you can grab whatever's near you to help you. And I want you to stay for two more breaths. If you're feeling it, close your eyes, feel your inner strength, inner power. Now drop the heels. Last time we're gonna step out in our warm up to a second position. Lower the hips down, don't let the chest fall, keep it lifted. We're gonna bring our right hand to our right thigh. Inhale, left arm comes down. Exhale, we reach it towards the floor, and then we inhale, bring it up, leaning towards the right side. We exhale, we hold, we settle on the exhale. Inhale, come back to center, exhale, settle in. Hips may become a little bit lower. Left arm comes here, we inhale, right arm down. And exhale, press further into the earth with the right palm. Now inhale, reach up, opposite direction. We exhale and settle. Really taking these moments in this class this morning just to come to our breath and be aware of our body, switching up our warm up routine. Come back to center, straighten the legs. Last piece of our warm up, we're gonna bring our right hand out in front of us. Left elbow on the inside, find eagle arms, okay? Sideways that looks like this. Your elbows stay in line with your shoulders. You don't want them to drop down. Keep them lifted. If you wanna come deeper into the legs, you always have the option to lower the hips down. Release the hands, pull them behind you, clasp the palms together, press the knuckles down into the mat. And release opposite side, left arm comes forward, right arm inside, finding eagle arms. Press the elbows up, and staying in line with the shoulders. And then release the hands. One last time, press the palms together, lift the chest up. And release. All right, we are going to get started with our lower body. We're gonna do a 10 series today. I haven't taught this in a while. You wanna make sure you have a sturdy surface in front of you, whether it's a chair, or a counter, come to your steady surface. You can face forward, okay? It doesn't matter. Um, you can even come to the side, whatever you need. I'm gonna switch back and forth just to make sure that you can hear me in the video. But what I want you to do first is come into that chair position. You may need to step back, bring your hips down, okay? Just like this. It's okay if your knees come forward for this. Our quads stay engaged 
which protect our knees, okay? It's not like your normal squat. Pay attention to your upper body, ears, shoulders, and hips. And from here, we're gonna just hold for a couple seconds. Set yourselves up at home. Make sure your form is good. I can't check on you today. So I'm trusting you to take what I've taught you and use it. You have the knowledge to stay safe. From here, we're gonna straighten the legs and then just sit down. Okay, just like that, nice and slow. Five more like this. We have eight. Nine. Now we come down for this into our chair. And then when we come up, we take the, out the right leg, we lift, bring it down, come back to our chair, okay? Start like that, 10 of those. Right side leg lift, into chair. The deeper you sit, the harder it is. The higher you kick your leg, the harder it is. Keep the foot, a little bit more flexed or pointed rather than loose. Lift, sink back to your chair. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down to your chair. From here, we're in our chair. The angle of our knee is gonna stay just like that. And we're gonna circle the knee and then come back to our chair. Okay, let's start together. Chair, circle the knee, come back to your chair. Circle, chair. And it's okay to sing along with these songs at home. I won't do it. Four more. Two. Last one, we circle. Find your chair. Close your eyes, settle in. Long deep breath, stay in your body, increase the awareness, look inward. Come up to standing for a moment. Take a deep breath in. I want you to try to get your heart rate down a little bit before we go into the opposite side. Two more breaths, you got this. All right, we're gonna repeat that on the opposite side. Go ahead, take an inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we sink. Just our chair to start and lift. I call this the 10 series because we do 10 of each move. As long as I count right. I don't always. We have four more guys. Three. Two. We bring this down, then we're gonna add the outside leg lift, opposite leg. We lift to the side, sit back down. Go ahead, we have 10. Stay with your breath. Halfway. Two more like this, two. Last one, come to your chair and then we add that knee circle. Knee circles, back to your chair, go for 10. Don't rush through it. Try to see at my pace.
Halfway, you got this. Two more. Last one, hold it down. Chair. This is a perfect song if you're following along for what we're gonna do. Find the beat of the song and pulse. We have a hundred pulses. Ninety left. Eighty. One inch. Seventy. Really small movement. Sixty. Halfway. Don't stop. Pulse. Twenty left. You got this. Twenty pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold. Your choice. Last thirty seconds. You can stay just like this, or march, lifting one leg at a time. Hips stay as low as you can go. Belly's pulled in tight. Halfway there. No matter which option you chose, do what works for you. Five seconds. Hold. And come to standing. Go ahead and take your hips, roll them to the right. Moving the energy that may be stuck somewhere. And then switch directions of your hips, opposite side. Coming back to center. We are going to add onto that, that was our chair position with our feet parallel and our hips down. For the next one, you want room on both sides of your legs again, and you're going to come to a second position. And we're going to rotate through the same thing, one side at a time, second position, and then we'll switch that. All right, come back to your bar if you're shifting. Take a deep inhale. And then exhale, come down, check your form. We're going to check form before we start. I'll tell you what you're looking for just to make sure. When you're in your second position plie, you pull the knees back, eye gaze down, make sure you can see your big toes. If you can't, you can move your feet closer together or move your toes in. Everything is stacked. Like this, not like this, forward, okay? Stack as much as you can get. From here, we're gonna do 10 of our plie squats, okay? Take an inhale, lengthen. Then we exhale, we lower and we lift. Lower and we lift. After we do five more, we're gonna add that tendu where we point the toe to the side and we squeeze it in. I'll show you. All right, come up, leg is straight. I'm switching so you can see. We came up from our plie. Outside leg, we sweep it in. We come out, we plie and sweep. Plie, sweep, just like that. 10 times, go. Plie, sweep, plie, sweep. Really squeeze the inner thighs towards each other. Reach the opposite foot out. Two more. Now we plie, and then remember the shape of that outside leg. We lift the knee up, plie down, lift the knee up. When you lift the knee up, it's coming towards the opposite hand on your bar. All right, eight more. Knee up, plie, knee up. Awesome, same with your breath. Where's your breath, where's your body, where's your mind? Is it connected right now? If it's not, get there. Three more. Two 
two. Last one. Now we plie. This is the last one for this side. We plie down, leg lift. Plie, leg lift. Ten more. Go. Turn the music off if you need to. You got this. Three more. Bring it down into your plie. Come to standing. Heart rate down. Three breaths. Last breath. All right, opposite side. Let's set up in our plie. Take your form quick. We just do 10 up and down. Ready? Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Beautiful. You got this. Three more. Then we add that tongue to outside leg squeeze or toe pointed squeezes in. All right, we plie down, we tongue do, squeeze it in. Plie, squeeze it in. Big toe lightly presses or slides against the mat. The lower you go, the harder it is. Make it your own. We have five. Three more. Last one. Now we plie outside. Knee comes across towards the opposite. And plie for 10. Knee sweep. It's hard to be doing this and not sing to some of these awesome songs. But I want you to finish your workout. And if I start singing, you're not going to. <laughs> I can promise you that. Four. Three, two, last one, plie, and then outside lifts, okay? Leg lifts, go, plie, lift the outside leg. Halfway, sink the hips low, lift, sink, lift, sink, lift. Two, one, sink it down into your plie. Hold it. We're going to hold for about 10 more seconds. Then we're going to pulse it. All right, here we go. Begin to pulse one inch down, down. Another good song to pulse right here. Turn it up. Let this be your theme song, Unstoppable. You are unstoppable. You can do anything. Don't let the turmoil of the outside world stop you from being happy and living your best life. You're still alive, you're still breathing. You just have to change how we do things. For some of us, this is a good thing. We get to recenter. We get to reset. We get to find that balance again that we've been missing. 20 more pulses. Let's do this. Hold. Close your eyes. Feel your power. Feel your strength. You have 20 seconds. You are unstoppable. Do not strain your legs. Straighten the legs. Hands the heart center. Find the heartbeat. Close the eyes. Bring the heart rate down.
All right, open your eyes. We're gonna do one more standing for our calves before we switch gears a little bit. Okay, you can come back to the bar, face it in the same direction, but I want you, I'm gonna face you so you can see. I want you to squeeze everything as tight as you can. All right, start with your foundation. So ground your feet, then lift the inner calves, inner knees, inner thighs, pelvis is neutral, core is engaged, okay? Chest is open, shoulders are rolled back, chin is parallel, and there's a giant light beam of positive energy coming out the crown of your head this entire series. Lift it up high, so heels come high, and then lower, tap, lift, lower, tap, lift, lower, tap, lift, okay? Just like that at that pace. Two more. Hold this one up. Find that power, find that strength. And you choose, does your hands come off of your bar? Does your arm come overhead? Does it come to heart center? Okay, so many options. Which one will you choose? Wherever you choose, wherever you're at, we're gonna stay together here for three more breaths. Reaching high. Bring your hand back down. Don't bring your heels down. Keep the heels lifted. Let's keep the calves engaged the whole time. Step it up to a parallel position, okay? So that's about two fists between the feet, heels high, lower, top, and lift. Another good song, Don't Stop Believing. I chose a lot of songs to this playlist that had meaning to help hit home, to help resonate with you. Everything is going to be okay. When? I don't know, but it will be. Remember, it's those ebbs and flows of life that make us stronger, that build our character. These times help us show our strengths and our weaknesses so we know what to work on. Hold this one up, and you choose where your hand goes. Hovers over the bar, overhead, or hands at heart center. Two more long deep breaths, lift. Feel the calves stretching, lengthening. Don't drop the heels, drop the arms. We're gonna step out to a second, not a wide second, just a second. Heels are under hips, turn towards each other. We drop and we lift, drop, lift, drop, lift. It's funny how calf raises could be a metaphor for life. Sometimes we drop and then we lift right back up. It's when we drop and we don't lift. We don't rise up, that we get to the other side, that we head into a downward spiral where we don't want to be. Those moments happen where it feels dark. Remember, Calvary's is lift. I can do this. I can pull myself out of this. You got this. Give me four more. Four. Three, two, one, lift it. Find your hand position and stay. Heels high. Drop the heels. Bring your hands down. We're gonna stretch it out. 
turn to face your bar, steady surface. Bend into the left knee as you step the right foot back, dropping the right heel, smiling because that feels wonderful. And before you move, straighten the front leg and pull the toes in towards the shin. Begin to stretch out that calf. And then switch sides. Step into the right foot, bend into the right knee, step the left foot back, drop the left heel. Now straighten the front leg, pull the toes towards the shins, stretch it out there. Turn away from the bar so you don't hit the bar. Feet hip distance, hands on our hips, inhale, chest lifts, exhale, fold forward, keeping the legs as straight as we can, bringing eye gaze between the knees, upper body hangs heavy. Light bend of the knees, slowly rise up. Grab a drink if you need to, and grab your weight. I'm gonna put my stopwatch on for this. What we're gonna do today for upper body, I'm switching it up a little bit. We're gonna do unilateral movements with compound weights. We want to grab both weights, you can go as heavy as you want. You're home, it doesn't matter. If they're too heavy, you're gonna drop them. We're not able to see you. So hopefully you're being honest and trying. All right, grab your weights, come into a standing position. I'm gonna set the timer. So we're gonna do five work exercises on each side for 60 seconds each. All right, grab both weights, okay, as heavy as you want to go. And we're going to start. Right. Stop watch. There we go. All right, we're setting up bicep curls. Hammer curls are first. That means the palms are facing in towards the center of the body. Bring your hands down by your side. And we're going to lift up and press down. Lift, press, lift. Press. Targeting the biceps, you know your strength, you know your power. If you don't have heavy enough weights, grab them now or make sure next time you do a Zen bar class with me, you have them near you. I know we may be limited with home space, but if you think workouts for you are going to continue at home, it wouldn't hurt to see if you can buy any and have them sent to you. Staying with our hammer curls. All right, hold this one here in front of you, right by the chest. I'm gonna turn to my side so you can see. We press out, we squeeze back. Press, squeeze, press, squeeze. Again, core is engaged. We're rooting through our feet, but lifting through the crown of the head. Maybe place your hand on your belly. Feel it. Is it engaged? Are you keeping it engaged throughout? We press away. We squeeze back. Press, squeeze, press, squeeze. We're over halfway with this. Stay with it. Remember, if we modify, we just get rid of the weights and we continue the same movements without them. Five seconds. Hold this one back. Squeeze. Squeeze our right shoulder blade in. Just hold. While you're holding, begin to shift forward. 
Tricep kickbacks, go. Palm faces towards the center. You squeeze, we press. Keep the chest lifted, chin parallel with the floor. We're over halfway. Stay with it. Five more seconds. Hold this one back. Lift it, hold it. And clap it in. Perfect song, stand by me. All of you, stand by me right now. We have less than two minutes left with the right arm and we can do this together as one. Good news, we're halfway already. Breathe. Relax the tongue, guys. Relax the jaw. Relax the shoulders. Clap it in, 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 in. Okay, 10 seconds. All right, keep the body where it is. Bring the weight in front of you. Imagine that you have a big beach ball here. That's what you're holding. You're gonna bring it out to the side and come back in, reverse fly. Horse tight, maybe hand back to the belly. This is it on this side. Should feel great. I should tell you too, if you need it to at all, you can always use your opposite hand to grab onto your bar. Look for that support. There is support all around you. I can't stress it enough. It helps knowing right now that we are all in this together. I'm not the only one affected. You're not the only one affected. Everybody is affected in the world in some way. And knowing that makes things seem just a little bit better. Pause, come up, roll out the right side. We're gonna switch weight to the opposite side. Bicep curls are first. Then, all right, go ahead, hammer curls. In and down. And what I mean by we're all in this together, that it brings light. To me, it just means that people should be kinder. They should be more forgiving. They should be more supportive. Sometimes when people are going through bad times, they, they get selfish. But I think when you sit back and you think, I'm not the only one. Instead of holding on to your fear or your anger, knowing that there's other people out there that need help, you kind of let go a little bit. You let go of your shit and you help someone else. And I think that's the beauty of being human. We have so much to give, especially in times of need. All right, we're going to kick it forward, squeeze it back. Out, in, out, in. Those bicep curls always start out so easy. Press, squeeze. Standing up nice and tall. Once we finish upper body, we're gonna do some core, stretch it out and we'll be done. Fifteen more seconds, squeeze. 
press, squeeze, press, squeeze, press. You got this. Five seconds. Give me one more. Hold it back, squeeze. Okay, squeeze, left shoulder blade in. Shift forward, core engage, try the kickbacks, go. Gaze forward, chin parallel. Halfway, we try some kickbacks, stay with it. Three seconds. Hold this one straight on. In five seconds, we're going to clap in. Ready? Clap. In, 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 in. We keep it lifted. We clap in, 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 in. Less than two minutes on upper body. <clears throat> In, 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 in. It may burn, you may want to stop, but you're not going to. You're unstoppable. We are in this together. My tricep hurts too. Okay, let's do five, four, three, two, one. Hold. Now, we're going to do reverse fly where we have that beach ball. Okay, the beach ball is here. Our arm stays in that position. We open, squeeze the shoulder blades, press down. Relax the mouth, relax the tongue, the jaw, the shoulders, the neck. You hold enough tension there for yourself and everyone around you. Let it go. Feel the tension in your rhomboids back. That's where we are. That's where we're working. We're over halfway. Ten more seconds. Do three more. Two. One. Bring it down. You can remove your weights. Before we stretch it out, I want you to just grab your arms. All right, one more time each side. Bring it down, roll the shoulders up and back. Reverse directions of your shoulder rolls. All right, let's just bring the right arm up, bend the elbow, walk it down to your back. Opposite hand, opposite elbow, press it down. Switch sides. And release. All right, if you don't have a heavier weight right now, you can grab your weights that you already used, all right, or you don't even need to have one. I'm gonna grab one because I grabbed one from the gym. Go ahead and grab it, your weights or whatever you have into your right side. Again, it's optional. You're gonna feel this in your side obliques without even using it. Okay, I want you to bring your left hand out to the side and I want you to bend the side as low as you can and lift back up. Okay, side, lift. I don't want you to lean forward. I want you to stay with that lateral movement towards the side. Feeling this on the left side of the leaks. You can even 
place your hand here and feel the movement. Keep the chest lifted. Even if you don't have weights, you're going to feel it. Try to go as low as you can, keeping everything straight. Maybe a soft bend in the knees to protect the knees. We're going to do five more. And bring it up. Switch sides if you're using weights. Right arm out, left side, we bend. And we lift. Bend, lift. Again, you can take both weights that you were using for upper body into that left hand. And you're also going to feel this without even using weights. Three more. And bring it up. You're going to release your weights or whatever you're holding. Coming into a standing position. Your left foot is going to be your support. So ground foot into the mat. Legs stay straight and lifted. We're going to do standing oblique or ab kicks. So we're going to have the right foot forward. Using your core, you're going to lift, bring it down, bring it down, lift, okay? Feel this in your core as you lift and lower, lift and lower. Stand tall, squeeze it all in, lift. Okay, it helps sometimes to have your hands there in your abs, to feel the abs contracting, to know that you're doing it right. So which side, place the right foot down, ground it in, left leg straight, squeeze and lift. Use the core, contract the abs, so squeeze in. Four more. Last one, bring it down. Now, we're gonna bring our hands behind our head, elbows wide, core's engaged, standing bicycles, just like we would if we were on the mat. We're gonna squeeze knee to elbow and open. Knee to elbow and open. Squeeze the core in and up. Twisting knee to elbow, elbow stay wide. The knee is meeting the elbow because we're twisting our torso. Ten more seconds, can you pick up the pace as long as you're holding form? One more each side. Come back to center. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, fold forward and walk yourself out to a plank. All right, we're gonna keep our palms into the mat and we're gonna hold. Pull the core in. I don't wanna see your butt up into down dog. I don't wanna see your hips sagging like this. I want you to protect your low back, straight line. If you need to modify, you have the option to drop the knees as long as you keep your back flat. All right, we're halfway, hold wherever you're at. Right here, guys, walking on sunshine. Feel the heat right now, speaking of sunshine, in the back of your body. 
that's facing up towards the sky. Feel the heat, feel the energy. Feel the glow of yellow around you in this moment. 10 seconds. Drop to the knees, hips to heels, find child's pose. Shift forward through your up dog, okay? I'm gonna come sideways so you can see better. We're in child's pose. We shift forward, coming into up dog or tall cobra, stretching out the low back. Come back to your child's pose. Notice slow movement, slow, slow, slow back. You're almost done, guys. One more cobra, press through the palms. Press the pelvis towards the mat, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back, I need up towards the ceiling. And then press your hips to your heels, not coming into child's pose, but coming into a seated position. Hands back to heart center, thumbs back to our heartbeat. Close your eyes. What do you feel? What do you feel different? I know personally that my heart is beating faster than it was in the beginning of class, but it feels softer. It feels lighter. And I'm visualizing some red. The heart chakra is not red. But there's red coming up for me and love is red. Hearts are red. Keeping the eyes closed. Picking one positive word today to carry on with you the remainder of the day. Think about that word so you can inhale and then exhale. Bring your hands by your side, patting yourself on the back or clapping for yourself at home. Great job. I thank you all for joining me in this virtual class and I hope to see you guys soon.